Hey guys, it's Ro. I just baked these lumpy Space Princess mini cheesecakes. Ah, on my geeky baking show, Nerdy Nummies, using this Wilton silicone mold. I wanted to make a video to give you guys some more information about these silicone molds and to answer some of your questions. One of the most frequently asked questions is, can you really put this bendable mold in the oven? And the answer is yes. You can bake treats in these silicone molds in the oven, in the microwave, and even the toaster oven because they are heat resistant up to 500 degrees. And most things that we bake, only you only bake them at 350 degrees, so they're heat safe. On the opposite end of the temperature spectrum, you can also put these in the fridge and the freezer. They're freezer safe. So if you'd like to make some custom ice cubes or jello molds or little mousse, little mousse desserts, you can do that. Another thing that I really like about these is that it's super easy to pop out your treats when you're done. So say you bake treats in here and you're ready to pop them out because they're super high quality and flexible. You just pull the sides and then your cake or brownie or cheesecake will just separate. And then from the bottom, you just pop and they pop right out. So that makes it really easy. I've never had to use any baking spray or butter. I absolutely love these. You guys have seen me use these on Nerdy Nummies and in some DIY treat videos. I've made Lumpy Space Princess mini cheesecakes with these ones. And then for a DIY Super Bowl treats video, we made little football sliders in here. We actually baked meat patties in here before we put them in the pan so they'd hold their shape and worked great. These are awesome. You guys may also recognize this heart mold. We made mini cheesecakes in the DIY Valentine's Day video. So yummy. Nom 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 nom. There are so many molds to choose from. These are just a few from my personal collection, so. Well, whatever the occasion, there's probably a mold for it. Ooh. Lastly, let's talk about cleanup. I got a few questions from you guys about how does one clean a mold like this that's very flexible and has a lot of little crevices. You can wash these by hand, but they are dishwasher safe, so you can just pop them in the dishwasher. And they're stain resistant. Boom. All right, that's it for silicone molds. I hope you guys found the video helpful. I'll be making some more soon. Bye-bye.